up everyone and welcome to the final part part three of my exclusive interview with lady c and this is where things start getting really really juicy in our interview we discuss megs's suicidal tendencies the rumors surrounding her apparent possible fake pregnancy whether prince archie and princess lullaby are fake and also whether megsy will in the future actually lose her title now just remember lady c has just released a brand new book Megan and Harry the real story persecutors or victims the updated edition it is out now I've personally read this from cover to cover and I cannot highly recommend it enough it is well researched well written and a lot more juicy stuff is in this book so if you don't want to miss out get it right now but with that being said without further ado let's jump into it shall we A little bit later on in the book, uh, you discuss Megan's alleged suicidal tendencies, right? And looking at essentially after that, what she did to Piers Morgan and by extension, Sharon Osb Osborne as well, uh, was Megan using her alleged suicidal tendencies to try and control people's narrative and thoughts about her, just as she likes to use race to do that? Well, I am an ambassador for one of the suicide charities. And I have three friends who died via suicide. And I have to tell you, I take a very stern view of hustlers who use suicide to manipulate and get their own way. There is nothing that Meghan Markle has said about her supposed suicide ideation, to use the word she used, which already is, is quite frankly such a tacky word, it's unbelievable. But anyway, she's a study in tackiness. And I don't for a second believe that she was suicidal. I'm not saying that, that she wasn't uh, leading Harry to believe that she was terrified and, and she had a right to be terrified because her supposed suicide ideation, as she puts it, took place on the 16th of January. And she says that she was curled up in a ball uh, and Harry found her and uh, she was distressed and Harry blah, 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 blah. And then she had to get dressed and made up to go to the uh, to, to the Cirque du Soleil event for Scent of Bali at the Royal Albert Hall. This is obviously a lie. And if she thinks I'm defaming her, she needs to sue me. But it is a categorical lie because at the time that she is supposed to have been at home, curled up in a ball, distressed, she was at the Mayhew Animal Centre getting down on her haunches and speaking to people. And then as she bounced up back, something, something gave out a popping sound. Whether it was Archie having a flatus internally or Megan doing something else, I don't know. But it's all there on record. So her dates prove that it's that she can't that she wasn't where she said she was and wasn't doing what she said she was. And I don't for a second believe it. I think it, it was a manipulative device. And I don't know to what extent Harry fell for any of this, because that evening at the Albert Hall, he looked rather concerned. She didn't look concerned. And her claim that in between she was crying, but she can't have been crying because the cameras were on them the whole time. And I'm awfully sorry. <coughs> Her makeup didn't run. And she had on so much eye makeup that it's a wonder that she that that half the minks in in on a mink farm were not were not sacrificed to plump out her eyelashes. So how was she crying? No evidence of it with the makeup. I'm sorry. I don't believe a word of it. I think it's opportunism 
and quite frankly, extremely distasteful op opportunism. There are certain things you don't do, and that's one of them. But insofar as I can see, Megan has, as Harry, Harry said, she's capable of anything. So let's stick to what he said. She clearly has no boundaries and no compass, because I'm sorry. And, and also, she also was saying that she was driven to these suicidal ideas by the press being terrible to her. Well, I'm sorry, two days before the press had seen Archie take a dive from her abdominal cavity to, to below her knees, and and they didn't report upon it. So where, how, but, but she obviously knew what had happened. And so he obviously did as well. There's a photograph in my book of him looking with absolute horror at, at Archie have, going swimming between her knees. I mean, absolute horror on his face as she's grinning like a Cheshire cat, her hand clutching air while the baby bump is between her knees. So that's the motive, in my opinion for her being so upset and for her stating that that uh, that she was sh she might well have been terrified but i do not for a second think that her terror had anything to do with ideas of suicide i think it was to do with ideas of the press commenting on that photograph and the photograph is there for all to see. Yes, it is, Lady C. And that actually leads me on to my next question because you do go into, again, forensic detail regarding uh, the rumours of the fake pregnancy, whether it actually happened or not. Uh, there's no conclusive evidence of that. And uh, you discuss that in the interview with Andy Signal over on Popcorn Palace. But just as an added question to that, there are also rumours that Prince Archie and Princess Lullaby actually aren't real, uh, that the pictures that we see of these children children are like actors or something along those lines uh, what do you think, you think to those rumors lady c i i'm sorry i don't stretch to that and i i i i think that's you know i think that's a little bit extreme or uh, to put it mildly i think the children do exist i have spoken to people at the palace who have seen the children and who have confirmed to me that the children's existence and i think it is also very not only naive of people but almost bizarre that they would think that the royal family would have two children who were whose let me think of a delicate way of putting this, who are included in the line of succession as a result of having birth certificates that were presented to the palace as being legal, uh, but the children didn't exist. I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it it's makes ridiculous. zero sense. I mean, I've, I've always said that. myself, Lady C, that... In terms of the rumour of them not existing, that makes zero sense to me. Why would they lie about the existence of two children? I, it, it, it makes zero sense. So I do think, respectfully for those that believe the rumour, I think it's silly. Uh, but going on to the final question in, uh, in regards to their titles, it's an absolute hot button topic in the community. Um, in terms of... Who would most likely remove the titles? Would it be a King Charles? Or when he ascends to the throne, would it be King William in terms of who would most likely remove their titles? Whose titles? Whose titles? Uh, Meghan and Harry's apologies. Well, I do not. I think it would be very dangerous for any monarch to remove the titles of a son or a brother on the basis of ordinarily uncivil and unsociable behavior. The, there is a precedent for titles being removed in Spain 
the Duke and Duchess of Palma de Mallorca had their titles, their dukedom removed by the king because he, they were both charged with a crime and she was then not tried, but he was not only tried, he was convicted and put in prison. So I think I make the point in the book that what would happen is that the, in, in the event of a serious criminal offence being committed, the titles would be taken away. But otherwise, I really don't see them being taken away. And quite frankly, I don't think they need to be taken away because whether they are taken away or not, Harry and Meghan are two of the most famous people on earth. And they're going to remain famous, even if you can add in in front of it so that they're infamous as opposed to famous. And they will remain infamous or famous, whether they are Mr. and Mrs. Henry Windsor or the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But they're putting that aside. I mean, in 1917, at the stroke of a pen, King George V removed the princely rank from Prince Arthur of Connaught's son, who was Prince Alistair of Connaught. And he in, overnight, he became the Earl of Macduff. And the only reason why he became the Earl of Macduff was that his mother was the heiress to the dukedom of Fife. So otherwise he would have had to have been Lord Alistair Windsor. So, you know, there is a precedent for removing, at the stroke of a pen, a monarch can remove the princely rank of someone. He can't remove the carriage. That has to be done by parliament. But I really don't see any of this happening because I think people want it to happen because they, they are punitive and they want to see Harry and Meghan suffer for what they have done. But they are already suffering. It's in front of our eyes they're suffering. They're failures. They're mocked. They're reviled. They're condemned as being undesirables. I mean, they are already in the public's eye, in the stocks. And, and they, the public are effectively hurling them figurative rotten tomatoes because of their bad behavior. So they're already being punished and nobody's punished. They, their punishment is a natural consequence of their actions. I think that's, that is the most effective punishment that you can give anybody. It's called a failure. <laughs> yeah, well, one thing we're hoping is definitely not going to be a failure, and I'm sure it won't, uh, is Lady C's uh, brand new book, Megan and Harry, The Real Story, Persecutors or Victims, the updated edition. It is out now, so go and order it. I've personally read it cover to cover. It is absolutely amazing. A wild ride through both Harry and Megan's history up until present day. It is absolutely going into forensic detail. She speaks to so many sources. It is unreal. She backs herself up. So if you haven't got it already, get yourself a copy. You are not going to regret it. Lady C, thank you so, so much for taking the time out to come onto my channel and conducting this interview with me. It's an absolute honor and pleasure. And I hope to have you back sometime. Thank you, my dear. I have enjoyed every minute of it. Take good care. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.